Matt and I spent all day offshore where we were escorted by a dolphin and saved the ocean from some garbage. We made it to Sand Key Lighthouse before sunset. And you know what? There was no wind, no current, and best of all, no people. We were hot and sweaty. So we decided to cool off by snorkeling and exploring the ocean floor. Hey. Let's go for it. All right, we're at Sand Key Lighthouse. We're gonna go snorkel right before sunset and before we have dinner. There's a barracuda waiting for us, but I gotta hop in anyways. He's eyeballing me. That little guy right there. I'm gonna do a cannonball on him. Let's do it. Circles. We take a look around to try to find some interesting fish or coral reef to check out, and we can't help but notice there's not much living coral reef. Instead, there's rocks covered in sand and silt. But we found these really cool parrotfish and hung out with them for a minute. Parrotfish actually survive off of eating living coral reef. That's their primary food source. We notice that there's not much coral reef here, but these guys are still managing to find some food. Yesterday was our last time in the water at Lu Key, and we saw so much vibrant coral. It makes us wonder if Lu Key and Sand Key Lighthouse are only 30 miles apart, and they have the same global factors causing diminishing coral reef. Well, what makes Sand Key so much worse? The cruise ship industry. The cruise ships are very deep, and our water is very shallow. When they come in, they stir up sand. That sand has to go somewhere, and it settles on the coral reef and smothers it. Have you ever seen an ocean look so glassy like this? It almost looks like a lake. We are about eight miles offshore, so we are going to be spending the night out here. We spent several days offshore at this point, and boy, we were excited to hook up to shore power and charge up. In fact, we were so excited, we were too early and had to drive in circles while waiting. Going into Key West, we're really excited to be here. This is my college town. I love this place. We have a dock for two days for the weekend. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go have some fun. All of my friends work up in the harbor we're gonna be at, so they're just gonna walk over when they get off work and come see us on the boat. Super excited. We arrived at Conk Harbor Marina to find Bye Felicia didn't quite fit right when pulled in. So we had to pull her out and back into the slip. This is the first time for us, and I think we did a pretty good job, don't you think? After a couple of days spent out at sea, it was nice to get back to projects. We had a couple buddies stop by, Jake and Anders from Rat Cat Crew on YouTube. Check out his channel where he canoes down the Mississippi River with his girlfriend Destiny. We'll put a link in our description. Definitely check out their channel. All right, here you come. Good? Yep. All right.
Thank you everybody for watching Sailing by Felicia. We want to give a huge thank you to all our Patreons out there who've been supporting us so far. If you also like to support our channel, please like or comment below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Till next time.